Hey guys, thank you very much. And by the way, I'm going to say something about girls first, okay? Can I say something? All right. Today, ladies are very given. I don't know what's going on, but I think something good happened in Los Angeles. I don't know. I, you know, I enjoyed um, Tommy Wiseau from like a comical standpoint. Yeah, like, yeah. I thought he was a very interesting yeah. character. But you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have called myself a Tommy Wiseau fan necessarily. Yeah. I mean, you know, I was. I watched everything that had to do with him, mm -hmm. but you know that was more out of curiosity because yeah. he's just so funny. Yeah, you but know, like I, I wouldn't consider myself a fan. But now that I've seen this event, I've met the man. Yeah. You know, I know the guy. Yeah, I mean, you know now that I know the guy, um, <laughs> he's really fun. And you know, yeah. I'm happy. I'm proud to call myself a, a fan. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not ashamed too. So I'm like support this guy. Yeah. I mean, and you know, it's it's amazing and. I just, I just love his Cause, stance. I, oh. Yeah, because like he's going with his like joke. You know? Yeah, you know, like, like he's, he's going with the people, not it's, like it's yeah. like that's his stance on just how everything. It's like not even like he's not like going, oh, I put out a crappy yeah. movie, I'm just gonna hide. No, he's actually like, you know what? I put out a crappy movie, yeah, and everybody seems to enjoy it. Yeah, he's just, you know, he's which, going with his flow, you which know? is just it's such a it's because like we were meeting a lot of new people. You know, we met the entire row was just full of people. Yeah, and we were actually talking to these people. Yeah, like, yeah. We, we, there know, was there was such a, like a bond and such like a connection instantly. You know, with fans and everything, just, yeah. Uh, yeah. just their sense of humor yeah. was on fire. Mm -hmm. They were really funny. I was sharing spoons. We were all sharing spoons. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh the spoons. Yeah, you throw They're, spoons uh, and then you know you get yeah. like. A thousand more. Oh, I know. Like once, the like yeah. after the next, you could reload by grabbing all those yeah. spoons on the ground. So you're like fucking fully loaded now. Let's go. We're getting ready to throw up the next part. Yeah, it's, it's a very, it's a very yeah. like fun, like almost like bo like loving community. You know, room fans really look out for each other. Yeah. Unless you have a laser. Oh. 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 There is. There let's is. Not get let, let's. That, let, can I? Can I? Um. There is a. There is um. I guess the the guy I told um the audience. About how saying we can't throw spoons at the screen, but we still did. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know, we still did because you know whatever. And then he was saying, you know, football is not so good. But we still saw that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. he really was like, there was a highly. It was like no, we really care. We're like blah blah blah. But then he started yeah. talking about laser pointers, and I'm thinking, okay, that could be distracting. You know, who, who wants? Like we already know what we're supposed to see. We don't yeah, need yeah. to point it out. Especially they had this really obnoxious guy with like a middle finger. You know, yeah, it was like middle like, finger you know, shaped yeah, it, laser. It's, like it's funny in like the right context. Like I would point out he one of those. He does it every like five seconds. Yeah, yeah. it was so really I, irritating. And yeah. it was just like the guys in the back were just like, just not, they were, if I say hostile it'd be a disrespect because it was yeah. pretty awesome. But yeah. it was just like, everybody was just like, focus on the movie. Yeah. yeah. What I really enjoyed though was the fact that some of the most iconic scenes like the I did not or yeah. like the high doggy you hear the you know people the veterans be yeah. like shh, 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 shh. yeah because yeah. those, those are the lines of the film and then like as soon as they finished everybody just clapped and was screaming yeah. and like you know yeah yeah they, it's like those are the lines where nothing you can say adds to it you just have to hear the line yeah you know like the classic lines that you hear all the time and really essentially that's the essence of the movie everything else is just kind of like to get from point A to point B yeah just kind of like, you know so. You know, just the panning shots yeah. and the go, yeah. go, go, yeah, go. pretty much. Yeah. You know, it's just great. I think a really good aspect of it was just how everybody's everybody's sense of humor. Like I said, every sense of humor was on fire. Oh, you know, yeah. they would come up with all these jokes, like, and they obviously knew the movie. Yeah, like with Lisa now, getting the pizza. You know? yeah. yeah, they actually would come up to the screen and have pizza, pizza hot sauce. They they had a, putting like, it into Lisa's Lisa? face. <laughs> I never actually thought that at first. I'm like, oh, these guys are gonna do something stupid, but no, that actually was yeah. perfect. Yeah, nice and then, and then there was like the time where like the, all the people like started getting up and started like bum rushing like in front of the stage or whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then they were all crouched over here, like they were all like on the side, like a 300 battle or something like that. Oh, my and they were God, just all yeah. waiting. And so yeah, it we, was one of them was when uh, the, uh, Johnny, played by Tommy Wiseau, comes into the uh, the apartment and they're having that surprise party and then everyone goes to the bum rushes the screen like they're part of that surprise party it's it's really yeah. cool and then the uh, the party the party thing where they um, they had uh, they had actually people like the like the noisemakers and stuff like that yeah the, and then like there was some guy actually made like a confetti bomb or something like that oh like, yeah oh, yeah oh, like, that, that was, was cool perfect that was timing awesome, right? like, yeah well obviously they've been to the screenings before oh my god to, like to perfectly time that 
Yeah, one day I hope to where we'll we're be one of the experts. Point. We'll be at the experts to do expert. No, we'll like they'll have these boxes now. We'll bring like you know all kinds, round table, yeah, yeah. dominoes, just yeah. different. Each kinds. one of us has a different. Yeah, thing. just different kinds of pizzas. Yeah, just know? each time we hang out, order a different type of pizza. Yeah, oh yeah, just save the box. No Papa John's. Costco pizza. Oh, Costco pizza. Costco. Mm -hmm. No Little Caesars. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. It's cheap. It's five Jesse, bucks. you're giving me that look again. Jesse, are, are, are you all right? Is something bothering you? Nothing. Nothing. Are you sure? Right. I'm sure. So, uh, sure? yeah, let's uh, let's move on then. It's audience interaction. Yeah. yeah. So, have you ever like thought about maybe it's by design? Like it, there there are like a lot of like odd things that do occur in the room, like. The, the picture of the spoons, yeah. and the constant, yeah. like, nobody opens the door, and, like, yeah. the inconsistencies in the story, which could be attributed well, like, to... Like, was this really planned out? Was it yeah. really yeah. to, you know, draw this attention? Yeah, you know? and I'm not saying it's so bad that it had to have been done on purpose. No. I'm just saying, if you really pay attention to it, all of these things continue to reoccur, almost like motifs. So... You like, know, it, it's strange, isn't it? Yeah. Like the scene where like Tommy gets pissed and like she he like knocks over a ta a table or whatever, and then um, there's a part I guess like you know it's the fight scene or whatever, and uh, Lisa goes over with she sees the picture right in the part, and the picture's knocked down, and the guy in the back was like, and the first picture she picks up is of the spoon. Oh. Like, like I understand like, but there's just no real reason why she would pick it up, you know? Yeah. And like, cause there were more, I guess there were more, I but think I saw more pictures it's there. It's like, like it's really why would sense. you take a picture of a spoon and like, kind of like draws that attention? Yeah, there, there had, there had the to be. The camera gets into that, it's like, why, what? There had to be like something, maybe just, yeah. me, me personally, I think Tommy was so, is trying to Kaufman everybody. Mm -hmm. you know, just yeah, for, I, I, you know, that's, for, a, that's a good theory. Though, you know? Know, like, yeah, and if you think, if you pay real close attention to, it's. You can tell the genius buried inside, and I'm not being sarcastic, but yeah. Lisa sweeping a floor, you wouldn't think anything of it. <laughs> you know, but if you think about it, it's like, you know, she's supposed to be this sadistic um, character that, that literally tears everything apart. And, you know, she's, she's the, yeah. like a witch, yeah. you know, it's like yeah. the broom. It's like you wouldn't really think, and there's even a part where she like she's holding the broom as if she was gonna That's hit someone. That's with true. It. It's like you know the, the subtlety, and then the apple, the apple, Denny and the apple, uh, one of the most pointless actions in the movie. Um, but you know, think about the symbolism. It's true. Like what? What? What is it? And like you know, the the apple yeah. of Sodom. You know, yeah, much. the garden and all that yeah. stuff. Like yeah. it's and just like, like you don't think about that. Yeah. You know? It's, it's just like, wait, are you sure this is not like planned out, you know? Are you yeah. sure this is not? And Lisa in red obviously represents the devil in hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and then, okay, also too, if you pay attention to, um, the, the movie is in on its own joke. Oh. Um, the scene where, uh, the, you know, the hot girl, Michelle, and, uh, and her boyfriend, the yeah, okay, that's the show, yeah. yeah, they're, they're in the, the apartment having sex, <laughs> yeah. and then Lisa and her mother walk into the apartment, yeah. they walk oh. in on them, mm -hmm. and Lisa's mother, she reacts to it, her exact words are, what are these characters doing here? She doesn't say who are these people, yeah. what are they doing here, yeah. or, you know, yeah. who are these people, or, these or you know, whatever, here, you, know? you know, yeah, she says, who are these characters? I think it's like very, yeah, it's yeah, like very yeah. subtle. Like, that, that's like, those really characters good point. have no point whatsoever. <laughs> no, they don't. And, you know, it's no like focus. the movie is in on it. Like um, the scene where the gassy guy goes back to retrieve his underwear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, okay. Yeah, yeah. That scene was. It, it could have had a point to it. Like later on, yeah. he he he, he meets up with yeah. Johnny he in the alley, no, and yeah. he said he just tells the underwear story. Like yeah. he went back to go get me underwear. Yes, yeah. but but, but but if you think about it, you know he could have said, "Hey, you know, long story. You know, I was with Michelle in the apartment, yeah. and we we're doing stuff, and then yeah. Lisa and her mom walked in, and we we scattered. Yeah. I came back because I I uh, I forgot something." And you know, when I went back to get it, 
I heard Lisa and her mom talking about you and you know how Lisa apparently doesn't love you anymore and the, like that that all could have happened and it would have like given that character a yeah that would have driven the but it into, but it didn't no so it's like you know the movie is so in we had to have this joke. like forever like lasting tape recorder that would last for four days <laughs> yeah I really think Tommy Wiseau went to a screening of Rocky Horror like you know ten you know twelve years ago yeah whenever he started writing it and he's like ah oh, ha ha this is really funny. I could do a movie better, yeah. you know, and it'd be funnier, you know, and like, it, it would seem like this really serious drama, but it'd be so funny, you know, yeah. and then like, he started writing, and he, with the cues in mind. Yeah. Yeah, because like, I guess like, what I was reading up about how like, the whole entire thing started was just, it was one screenwriter that just uh, came to like a sole premiere, and treated it like Mystery Science Theater. Yeah. You know, yeah. Constantly ripping on it, and then he told two friends, you know how that would think yeah. goes. And Word so, of mouth. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. So, like, me personally, I think he might have just, like, kind of threw somebody there and then just started getting people to go see it. Actually, here's another thing like, Peter's scenes are just so useless, kind of like useless. They're, <laughs> yeah. they're useless. It's just another so, like, yeah. So, so why, would, why would they kind of um, add in a new character to take over his thing if he was just a used character, mm -hmm. you know? So, you gotta understand, like. No, yeah, yeah well, and know, also, like, I think that. The actor who played Peter quit because he couldn't handle all this crap. Yeah. And what's on the way so? So that character who just walks in like you're gonna destroy John if he finds out about this when they're kissing on his birthday party. It's just like whoa, whoa, who the fuck are you? But then realize you're trying to realize that it's actually supposed to be Peter. Yeah, it's like so it's like it's like yeah. I think on IMDb they call him Steven or yeah, something. yeah, but just, like. But no, it's the same character. If you think about his role in the in and the how movie, he's like, acting, reacting, yeah, he's stuff. the same character. And you know, he's a psychiatrist, so you know he has this type of yeah. you know, like relationship knowledge, mm -hmm. like, you know, the deeper understanding of, of the <laughs> way the human mind works. Yeah. Cool. But and you know, I really think that you know Tommy Wiseau, uh, Greg Sestero, who plays Mark, yeah. and the screenwriter who you know went to that. One screening, yeah, so it was just shy. one guy. I really think maybe, like, I remember we were talking about it one day um, after the screening. What if they're all kind of one guy, and they all put their thoughts into this persona we call Tommy Wiseau? Like, in my book, he's either crazy, or he's a mad genius. Mm. You know? Basically, both mean the same yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, dude, if only Jessica would be here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... What? Are you alright, dude? No, yeah, God! Like something's eating you, dude. Nothing, nothing dude, is God. eating me, Angelo. God! Right, dude, seriously, what is wrong? Man? Finish your apple cider! No. What is going on, man? There's nothing going on! You've been acting on. here this whole review. Dude. There's nothing going on. I, I owe him some I finished money. it, so tell us. I owe him some money. Oh. <laughs> what kind of money? I just owe him some money. What kind of money, Danny? I just owe him some money. He's going away. He's going to jail. <laughs> Who is? He's a bad man. <laughs> but anyway, I really don't know what happened to Jessica. We what? didn't ask you about we that. We never asked you about that. You didn't? No. Then I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs>